My mamai feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time and Necromont's not here either. Oh, there's eight people, sorry. Or, there's nine people. Man, there's still a lot of people left. Like, a lot of people. I thought I got down to six people in the last game or something. I don't remember. We're not participating. If he's alive, we should invite him. No, no! Why bother? That's... What? Well, now. now then, let's begin. Yeah. I mean, Monokuma's right. Why bother having someone part of the class trial that didn't know the murder, didn't get to investigate crime scene, and there's no way the murderer... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people died. That means ten people are still alive. God almighty, there's a lot of people. Okay, well, I still have zero skills in this game. Trial! All rise! Man, that goes too now quickly then, now. Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class to yep. Oh, well, I don't- You know, because Sorry. I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? Definitely not true in the slightest bit. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Tiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room since she hadn't slept all night. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hip bag on their head, climbing a step ladder. Is that long hair puking up? From the bag, curls. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hint bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue. And unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not oh long my God, after, she's a murderer. we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? The reason I say that is because I'm basing my judgment off the little white, like, curly hair we saw in the picture, and it might not be that curly hair at all, but that's definitely We were also looking clue. for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. But no one else has any I'm kind of curly hair. Her hair is too long. At the hospital. Yeah, and she and was too busy. I noticed Ibuki was gone, so I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's, and not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. 
that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? Mm -hmm. When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. I really hate this guy so much. He's next in my hit list of people that I want to see killed before this game ends. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is alive, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Oh, I see. I see it. I see it. Hajime's testimony. Hajime's and the fact that it That would also. I don't think I can. After all. Why would Hajime. Well, obviously, because. Did Hajime kill. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. No, that's, that's why I want us to hold on to it. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never <sighs> saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? That proof is innocent. Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. What they warm -up? don't need to say This that. isn't a game, you know. Actually, it is. <laughs> don't get mad. It is very much a I game. Just think warming up is really important. It's the killing game, of Especially course. It has game. game in the title. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> she did not. Yeah, I'm positive. Nope, I'm negative. Then that seals it. Ibuki committed suicide. Nope, she did not. If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide. Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. She was, the, the both of them have been killed for then a while, let's guys. let's ask Hajime, how long would you say you were away from the music venue? Uh, two seconds. They couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. No, two seconds. So they killed Hiyoko two and seconds. up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? 
What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, oh no, wait, that door is the only entry. entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. That much is true. They were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! Me too? What the hell? Why's it gotta be us? The others all have alibis. True. Chiaki, Mikon, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! Hey, why are you talking like... Huh? You're kidding, right? You're... Not up to something weird, are you? <laughs> Please stop making that joke. The killer has to be present at the trial. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? killer was still inside the music venue by locking the door from the inside they tried to keep us from getting in it seems they were trying to stall for time how did they lock the door that door should not have had a lock the lock was on the floor in front of the door are you talking about the broken drumstick you can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the... What? Whoa, that's wrong. What? 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 Hang on a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. How? The semi-transparent blob does nothing. From the outside? How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Are you kidding me? That glob would not be able to provide enough force to resist the sheer force that you guys were exerting on that door. Semi-transparent glob. Like rubber, maybe? Really? I see! No. Not unless it was covering the entire door frame, but from that picture, it looks like it's just the bottom. Which definitely would have not been enough. But it's actually very clever that I broke a drumstick. Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm, gel-like chewiness, and I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible! It's not, really. I believe it is not Chosen something memory. one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. That's actually pretty Apologize clever. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me 
However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, but it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Correct. Just revealed? Correct, correct, correct. Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that, too. Here, I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but... What is this scrap, anyway? <laughs> Not being together. Oh, come on! I'm like... Pistol Gambit or whatever the hell this thing's called. I just hate it so much. I really do. Scrap? Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? Yep. In the music venue storage room, there was also a right. See? I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting, and what's wrong with that? A mere nope. But if you guys were Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it was. I don't need to hear it explained. Logic drive. Oh fudge me, okay. I actually enjoy this, so... Oh, I can actually see exactly how many lives I've left. Okay, let's just get to the first question, please. Thank you. Seems so stupid though. <laughs> this is I know the exact answer. This is just so dumb. <laughs> Ooh, I thought that was a path for a second. A curtain, wow. They cover, they cover. You done? Yes. It's all coming together. Got it. Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wall. What? They hit the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Yoko's body was already there. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it oh. to hang the wallpaper totally fits. 
I thought they just kind of rolled it over the body of the other person. Dad, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers is to make it look like that filler. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music thing. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. Killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on it. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But are you kidding me? Hey, don't put my likeness in- You're pretty noisy. I don't eat moss balls. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was... But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. I mean, he did mention accomplice, so it wasn't that far fetched to me. Think like, hmm. I see. I didn't read the review options. It's one of those classical mistakes where you have multiple choice of the test so and you read down the, the list. Order. But when you see the one that matches like close enough to you, actually just search it, circle it about reading the rest. Yeah, that just sort of thing. Happens. Then, Yoko was actually killed before Ibuki. A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That no. means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> You're one to talk! Oh my god... <laughs> When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? I agree with that. Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! 
Kyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck, and she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Kyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Kyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? <laughs> That's a good line. But are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You... You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet oh, ha, impossible. Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Allow me to cut through those words. Well, that was short. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. You look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it. And the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Kyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Kyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Thank you Aside for the no logical reason. None of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Nikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but... I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um, Nagito? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I then understand there be Hyoko's death. But, um, for example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! No, I wouldn't say that, but it's totally impossible because of fact the whole cleanup afterwards. Like the hiding the body, making sure that he sees the video, and then taking it out of the picture. She was tomorrow. afflicted by the despair disease. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murder. After Hajime, the killer had to. Then she. <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she no. waited until Hajime. She, she hanged herself. And if she was going to think, her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her. That alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm. There's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What, what the heck? Ah, there's still. 
if Ibuki did... According to that video you saw, then does that mean someone forced her to do it? Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't um, know anything about that. Follows, follows orders immediately. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Okay, then, so it's definitely live. the video Hajime saw was actually live? What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Gyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. An alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then... Uh, no, got it. Wrong. Barely. Barely got it. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You, you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. <laughs> hey, what kind of situation is that? Forgot about that and completely. <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hachibu. Once again, I don't know how that happens. Like, do not know. Too much info. <laughs> it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process, was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. Oh, we're halfway through. Nice. Once again, this seems weird. I guess it's a way to give a break. I'm on me. If it's too Once long, again, if people have to like, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. 
That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Okay. Huh. It's did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self man. This if that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, man. He's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on. I forgot what happened with the, uh, the robot because I was pointing out the uh That's the one Hiyoko's body uh, was imitating right? the imitations. Mm. Even though we're calling it an imitation. Pinned by arrows, correct? Yes. But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Probably couldn't Maybe hold they pillars. just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, true. that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Um... I understand that it, it's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? She was in the wrong like place what? at the wrong time. Like, she saw the murder example, and she got killed. Why did Yoko go to the music then? So, there's... I have no freaking clue! However, this is getting... So, towns... <laughs> What? None of these are proper ones. Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? There's no way you'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe she went of her own free will. She was guided by the will of causality. That's not. Maybe she got a. No, she went of her own free will. I agree with that. I don't. That's not a good. The room key, and that isn't very good. Just as Sonya said, she went to the music venue of her Because own free it doesn't will. have a good connection. It should have been her account that should have been the thing that. Should have either contradicted or supported her. Like. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then it's why did she go? It's a far thing. Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? That's not all I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact... Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... I won't lose! I'm starting to feel a lot of this stuff forced. Are you saying my gut was wrong? Like... A lot of these things are... Many games feel forced because the developers want you to play more mini-games. Whereas the first game, it felt genuine. And I like that, it felt genuine and I needed to think about it, I needed to do these debates. But these things just, they, they're forced. That's the best way to describe it. They're forced and it feels awkward and I roll my eyes because I'm like, really?
Now it's where the account gets the supported. Was That's why this is here. Right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her! But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her. It's more likely that Hiyoko... The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! Again, another There's no advance. reason for the killer to put the key in. The killer probably did. Hold on! Try remembering Hiyoko's body. Her kimono was on the killer. Allow me to cut through those words. The reason Hiyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah. It's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hiyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Could have been short enough. We didn't then force too many games. Then the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Foil me, burn me, take off my clothes. Do whatever you want to me! Hajime, now's your chance! Make- Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin! I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under! <laughs> Kazuichi. It seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? We just answered that. It was an unfortunate coincidence. Correct. Coincidence? Yes. When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Correct. It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation, Killed Hiyoko. That means she would have had to have a weapon. Or she. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, you don't know the most important part. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Oh, I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually <sighs> needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? He's gonna live, isn't he? He's gonna be the annoying character that lives through this game. I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. The guy that wanted to die the but initially is gonna be. I'm finally come. able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Wow, really? I already got that. Like 20 minutes ago. Where have you been? Actually, it's probably more of an hour ago now. <sighs> what if I thought there might be a Oh, flipping no, I don't need to hear an explanation. Uh, really? Yeah. That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. One of the other characters like, we already know this. Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be! Hmm. That's strange. This is strange? Well, what's strange? What about footprint footprints? Well, the killer could have cleaned it up. Oh, 
all the step ladder. I can prove it with this. I think about the step ladder. If Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself. It's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. The blood could have dried like long ago. Oh, yeah, that step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. Did you notice such a small detail? Could have not been her. Then I think there's no doubt that she really did find it. No, she didn't. Perhaps there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Mm -hmm. But that's something only Hajime would know. Since he Hajime, as long as I leave this Yeah, I'll def uh... Here we go, grab another drive, aren't we? Damn it! No, the hospital gown is definitely suspicious because we one's missing from an empty room. I also meant to click the bag, by the way. Damn it! Oh, the stepladder. Here! Doesn't blood on it. Right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Could have been from Can you behind. Explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side <laughs> of the step ladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any blood stains on the step ladder in the video. It's it was because you're seeing it clean. from the other side. The videotape was poured on the other that side. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death... Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. There's no way the video was recorded in it. It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. And one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder ah, in the video so is the only place. place. Am I right? I see. That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming and... <laughs> location must have been different too what do you mean i mean the video i saw was not filmed at the music venue. correct it was filmed somewhere else correct but the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera you know then there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit God, there's so many of these mini games now. It makes Charles go on forever. Yay. Okay. Killer tap with the camera at the music venue in the hospital. The music... I, thought... I thought we decided that it was a different. It's all coming together. Whatever. Whatever. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue. It was actually from somewhere else. Then only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes. At least when I first discovered it. Oh, spot. I see. But then they wouldn't have been able to know that when they were when watching. Yoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means I see, I see, I see. That I was start, confusing the camera and the device as one unit when they're actually two. Okay. He did discover the body. I understand. I, I doubt mean, his attention was focused mistakes. on the camera. That's true, but 
In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. Smash the monitor to pieces, destroying it. I thought we were talking about the camera. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. And Maybe they destroyed it this. and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music thing was amazing enough. Oh, where was it filmed? Hmm. Another one? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I hate this. I know. Hold on. There are confidence for the flippin' happy game. God. But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble. The curtains. God, I'm sick of these mini games. Just move on. There's no way to cut from the music venue. Look at Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That must be it. Move on. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, it somehow became. Yep. That's right! It's so half assed! Oh, yeah? Well, that curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking. I see. The same color as. Oh, wow. So the killer chose the car. Actually, that's matching pretty cool. Floors, matching curtains. But that's not all. There should be some. The candle, I assume. I can prove it with this. You're referring to the candle in the... In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. If you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have reason. been another reason, but... The main... The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle with film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera... It won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. 
The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. Oh. Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. <sighs> I don't know what that is. See! But I got it right. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. Oh, that's what we're saying? Fudge, I already knew that. Like it I said, was. I'm sick. The killer I'm pretending being, I'm to be I'm getting Ibuki. very impatient. I'm the sorry. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video, there's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly... I swear to God, if you make me do a hang hangman gambit and a flippin' or flippin' mind royal thing, I'm gonna be pissed. Then naturally, the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I sure you know. I sure you know. No, sorry. That's not the person. <laughs> I I saw the hair and I was like, oh that's her. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. There you are. You're the only one! Can't believe the nurse did it. I'm doing it. You're the killer, aren't you? Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoka? Don't you think that's kind of impossible? A chick like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. Ah, it's Persona, she's been giving us the whole time. She's right! A Oh, I'm too slow to do that. But we're the only ones. And you're also the only one that knew about the temperature increase thing, too. So that makes sense. That respect. Oh, it could be true with the type of depth of the bodies because it's so warm in this room. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up early. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? <laughs> Exhaust from nurse fell asleep, right? If you assist. Ah. At that time, you said you were going to the on call room, but you actually went to the conference room. Could have been that she was infected by the disease, and that's what happened. You put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music theater. And showed that to me. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. 
So that must mean... Please, wait a second. What are you saying? It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? Just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! Y it's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. Oh, she must have really felt happy when she got to kill the annoying brat. In a tournament for social punching bags, I easily win first place with my soft reputation. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to... What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Um... Can you help me? <laughs> Took aside. Logic aside. Is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be that I'm making a mistake? No, in fact... It'd be much easier if I was wrong. If it, if I had made this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Can you hold on a minute? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. And I mean, I have no place to say this. Uh -huh. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. Yep. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the killer this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with a suspect in mind creates different results than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else in this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this, this is, is a game. game. Please don't say such quick. Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang, that's a huge deal. A decisive clue. Just something like that you really exist. Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? <laughs> there weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. Yeah. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? I'm technically. What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope. It's frayed. But why is it like this? The loopy booty used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means... Well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Darn. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly say did you say to me clue. during the investigation? Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. <clears throat> More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then... And then... I finished speaking. Huh? 
How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this, too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood us to blame! Oh, for someone's lie? That must be it! Whatever. Whatever. So that's I, what I happened. really can, cannot We've been care falling anymore. for the killer's lie this whole time. <sighs> She died from hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself. But that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <coughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I don't know, can they? Let's ask someone. Let's let's get a drunk nurse student here and ask if we can tell the difference between hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so Nikon nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Nikon because she was nursing her. So, so Nikon volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikon is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikon is the killer. <sighs> I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! There's no way I'm capable of killing someone. Is that really true? Oh. Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. <laughs> huh? I do doubt her, but I still <sighs> want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Because if there's no room for doubt, 
then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really oh God, get I'm it. really fading, aren't I? I'm sorry, guys. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Oh my God. Belief without doubt. It's not that I'm not enjoying the game or anything. I know I said a lot of stuff about this game, and I do apologize. I, I'm just not. I'm not feeling well. I'm really not feeling well, and you could probably easily tell. But I just. I don't know. There's a lot of BS that I'm facing, and I'm just like, oh, I've had it with everything, you know. And I'm just sitting here, Fine. silently fading. Do whatever you want. Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words, making excuses for why. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Hey, hey, Mikan. It's not fair. It's not fair. 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 You forgive me if you did something wrong. You forgive yourself right away! What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? I'm... The same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Hey Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? <laughs> like I said, it obviously wasn't me! Can you prove it? P prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Ah! That's right! Show me your proof! Mm-hmm. That's a face we killed. Because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room! Treating me like a killer! Things come in so Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. <laughs> I'm not the killer. <laughs> I never filmed <laughs> that video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So, I'm. Yeah. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! 
Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. Oh, God. You're the really? only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Just from that camera angle. I'll shoot through that contradiction. I didn't know the camera angle. Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. Mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> the only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Ah! Oh. Are you serious? Is this true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? not it I mean it's impossible you know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died try remembering the tote bag instead ding I totally remember now what the heck's wrong with her she's getting weirder by the minute yeah everyone does when they get a uh, isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video how do you know so much about that video <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? All oh, those are you the bag handles. You decal on it. For Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Long time no see. Well, not really. It's time for me, third panic attack. Actually, probably gonna be my last job during a class trial. <laughs> Just check. Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? I forgot how this works, sorry. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Forgive me! Forgive me for my only me! Okay, so during this the ammo. You still haven't forgiven me! I'll do anything you want! Why is this happening now? Can you forgive me already? Forgive me! Forgive me! Please, draw on me! Do you understand? Oh. Can you forgive me already? Sorry, gotta reload. I'll do anything you want. Okay, go. There's only one back. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same time. Oh. 
the This is the end. I hope a lot of this gets fixed in the third game, because I really, really hate it. Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses! After I go over your crime from the beginning. Okay. There's an argument, thank God. Let's get this over with. Here's everything that happened in this case. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. I thought the signal was at the... But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. And by doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music room and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And, as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music team, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. Ah, they smashed the end, it once they the were back there. The transformed okay. the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. I don't know why, though. That just seems a waste. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. It did seal quickly, I guess. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Now she's laughing? 
It's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing, like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! M Mikon, you... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! Another beat. It seems your arguments have reached the conclusion. Now then, who will be glad? <clears throat> I'll say it, I don't like these pixel pictures like at all. I I still have trouble figuring out who the hell is who on these things. Now then, those be obvious at this point. Correct. Yeah, all right, once again. That's like three in a row. That's right, the true identity of the horrifying black and who killed the girls was this person. Damn it. You gotta be crapping me. Are you saying that the one who nursed me back to health was the one who killed them? Don't joke around with me. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit laughing like, say something. It's going to get all in there. What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey. There's nothing like Pekko. She's gone mental. That's There's obvious. nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the person we knew. Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She's probably had the despair to bees, which was the motive for this case. What? What? Wait. You see. I... I know because I was looking at Riku for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drifting. But ever, even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... <sighs> full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that no a single fragment of it remained. Hold on. You say that Miko had despair to Yeah, I figured that out. And that means she what? was... What? It had suddenly crossed her mind. Her body's heavy. Felt really warm at the time. Now that I think about it, it must have been a high fever. It cannot be. That, that's because of the disease she had. Perhaps. The symptoms she surely felt had been the deserving nature of the despair. Losing all hope and then harboring despair for all that hope. Because the spirit is bees. She was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she still laughed in such hopeless situation. <laughs> Jeez. Which means that Mika standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person, and she's infected by the despair Isn't disease. Isn't that right? To be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair. <laughs> I... That's the reason why I can't forgive this. I mean, killing someone for sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair. Ah, oh, that's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong? Wrong, what's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, I'd be so happy. My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. Okay, Andre. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in Andere. full. This is Andere, my reciprocation. I didn't know you were in this game. <laughs> I understand I've done something unforgivable, but, you know, but, you know, to transcend all is truly. It's love. Hey. I don't understand. What are you saying? <laughs> don't you understand? It's because you don't have to love. It's because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone. <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Well. Even if you say this and notice no or no it is, love is a wonderful thing. Ah, <sighs> oh, this feeling of freedom when you know and care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones 
uh, within that thin veil and it's something to look out for. That's why as long as I'm on, on the inside, no matter how much they tense me, slash before I kick me, it's nothing matters. I could just die and that's how little matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love, only love. It's only real despair to see this is what you're talking about. This is... That seems... That I was wrong. Not only was I she infected by despair. You're only half right. It's to say that... This is all thanks to that disease, because thanks to that disease, I'll be to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. Haha, <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. I mean, the remembering disease? What? But <laughs> it means she remembered something and ended up like this. She despair. You're saying that she was like this from the start, where you like this before you even came to the silence. <laughs> Don't get so angry. First, well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault, it was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. The only person I'm, I am today is because of many human relationships, and because of everyone's fault that I turn out like this, you see? And so the current me was so mostly strongly influenced by beloved existence, and that's why my beloved is creating me, giving me my beloved, beloved love, love, love. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Say Mika. Is she the real Mika? Hey, please ask me. Do you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way that one person you are right now is the real Mika. <laughs> oh, so you still doubt me. Then I'll prove it. I remember. I'll tell you something all nice. <laughs> It's about the World Ender Organization that you're all worried about. Are you serious? No. Not now. I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. About how the whole Final Organization World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future. That's right, some on the ancient doors. That's right. Jody's future. Just what was this Future Foundation you were planning? As the name suggests, the organization is known as the World Ender. The future organization is trying to end our world. But simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves, which is really stupid. What the heck? This is a comic book, you know. This part of their plan and the world, the future of the foundation brought us to this island. That's right. Huh? I knew it. Both members of this crazy organization aren't they? They aren't members. My existence is entirely my own. Hey. Don't laugh. Hey, Mika, are you, do you remember? Then you already know, right? You already know the Trader the traitor here among us. Of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation blacklist that's high among all of you is... Oh, well. No one really cares about that, do you think? Of course not! Well, then you're fine about you. There's no need to be so impatient. Probably when the countdown ends. Countdown? Do you even know about it? I don't know anything. Hmm. I'm feeling that. What is... But who cares about it, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart. I don't care about anything or anything. That is... is this really you? I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it if you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then the one person we spend time with until <laughs> now? The past. Past. That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past. Who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys consider that a friend. Oh. That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accept my past self, but not my present self? That's... Well, oh, that appeals to you all well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are. Like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important concept of building a person, don't you think? That is probably true. Losing memory makes us uh, shadows of our past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to the story that the story about the stolen school lives. Hey. hey! So if it was all true all along, our memories were taken away. Damn it! If that was true, they would be suffering this much. <laughs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh. Oh, Monokuma, is it all right to start now? Yes, it Come on. Why don't we just end it like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's, it's punishment, punishment time! <laughs> <sighs> Oh, 
Oh boy. Bye bye, ouchies. You know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of um, Evil Genius being stabbed with a giant needle. What the hell? Oh, punch! Shot an arm. Okay. She's in outer space now. It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed was that person, and all she's been executed. Apparently committed the crime because she affected by the despair disease. So what? So what's finished? Nobody wanted it to end it this way. Let me ask. Who was that from earlier? Is it the true nature film, or is it the symptom, or is itself a symptom of the despair disease? Yes. Doesn't matter either way. She ended up. Just like that from remembering, then all along, Nika was never really worth being a symbol of hope. What? Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's just talk about- let's take all this despair and change it to hope. Wait. This- that is impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so- Cause the car's collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend with thought have ended up showing a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from her sight, leaving behind only her me herself. And now, there's no way we can end up just moving on or trying to have a clear-cut attitude about the feelings. It's clever, Liam. Damn it! Possible. It would have been so much easier if she was just a traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad. That's not the case. Miko is not the traitor. The traitor's still alive. It's proof. See how fine Monokuma looks right now. <gasps> I'm not fine at all! Hmm? But if the traitor died, you would be calm, right? I mean, you're both paws of the future foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating at one. Fiend. What is it? What does that make you feel? Did you say you're not different than Mao Me? Who cares about who I am? More importantly, I'm tired. The drama has kept me going, and I don't even have time to eat. My black had been right, bef right eye before the break. Hey. You're right, your eyes made of black blades! Hey, hey. Right now! Now's not the time to focus on that. What are we trying to say? Hey, um... You know, since say life has up and downs, it's fun because downs become before ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? Yeah. So in order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the first side of the beach, an old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be? Hey! Hmm. Say, how should I say this? <laughs> Knew it. Crazy. Come back in one piece. <laughs> awesome. It's, it's rehab robotics or something. Um... Uh -oh. Man, they started out listening to what I had to say. She's so impatient. Don't they learn to stick around until the others have finished talking? Um, what does that mean? Hey. Your plan is up, they march you! No way! I'm not planning anything, I'm just trying to properly explain everything to them, including Nick Runa's body. <laughs> His body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <gasps> what? What did you do? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there'd be no way I could have saved someone who was chosen to death. So it couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh boy, he's not gonna be in one piece, is he? As soon as we excited, they're always running right to the beach to the first island. Alright, all right, let's haul, let's go, let's go, let's go, yep, yep, yep. What's up, 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 what's up? What's up with him? Hey, listen. Okay, pick up, show yourself. We raise your voice. We look around the area. Is he the tree? Hey, hey! Damn it! <laughs> what happened? What are you all looking Could for me? Be? That voice. Truly unbelievable. Huh? Yo, I've kept <laughs> you waiting. Hey, what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing- Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? 
<laughs> this is nothing. Yep. The name is Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. <laughs> Guys, it's just a robot now. Don't panic so much. God almighty. Okay, time for the bomb to tick down even more. How many days did we lost? Were we 17 or something? Woo! We lost a lot of days. Nine days left. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that is chapter three over with. And that is where I'm ending for the night. Nine students left! Huzzah! <sighs> but I hoped everyone enjoyed. Even if I'm not feeling super duper well. And, um, I'm cool, we got the nurse apron. And I was uh, a bit pissed off at the end.